You know what would be amazing if you're with us right now, if we have one of the children from the board, or even one of the other, maybe it's a doctor, maybe we've got some nurses here. If it's one of the kids, though, if you could turn the lights on inside this room. Yeah, people have seen children waving out this window. And it's interesting because um, there's been families where two people have seen the children and two haven't. Yeah. And it's usually younger kids have a better chance of seeing the kids. Mm. There's a sense of familiarity there. And, you know, children, there's something to be said about children being more open to because they're this so type of young. phenomenon. Yeah, yeah we, we'll, we'll ignore something that doesn't fit into our mold, right? Exactly. Come forward and turn on these lights, please, if you can. What are we seeing there? I don't know what that is. It's something in the it's window. A, it's a figure. Can you walk away? Can you move away from the window and come closer to where we are? If you can hear me, come closer. Don't be scared. Which frame is that in here? Okay. So it disappeared when I moved. We got this. We got that second frame. So it's right here. Let's see if it comes back. The only reason I moved it and had to readjust it is because it was trained right on that particular piece of the frame. So sometimes it can just be that the IR is bouncing in a strange kind of way. Right. And your brain makes sense of it and tries to make a pattern. Well, and the machine naturally will, will, will formulate it. patterns and try to map it too. So let's see if it comes back. It was definitely an anomaly, but again, as we talked about earlier, just because something's anomalous does not necessarily mean that it's paranormal. Mm -hmm. 